let's talk about the study that's causing all the buzz on the internet. A new study showed that a high cholesterol on a ketogenic diet is totally fine. But is that actually true? Now, this concept supports the theory of lean mass hyperresponder or LMHR. Basically, it says that if you're on a high fat, low carb ketogenic diet, and if your LDL cholesterol shoots up, but your triglycerides are low and your HDL is high, you're still totally fine. Some even claim that it could be protective. Now, this idea was popularized by an engineer, Dave Feldman, who noticed some unusual lab results and built a whole theory around them. The problem, it clashes hard with decades of science, which shows that high LDL, especially at extreme levels, is linked to heart disease, stroke, and even dementia. That people on a ketogenic diet with very high LDL didn't show much artery plaque buildup over a year. That sounds promising, but here's a catch and it's a big one. First red flag. The main goal of the study was to measure change in soft plaque. Now, this is the stuff in your arteries that leads to heart attacks and strokes. But those results, not even in the main paper, buried in the fine print in the supplementary data that nobody reads. And when people finally dug it out, it showed a significant increase in the size of the plaque over the year. Second, there was no real control group. Everyone in the study had high LDL, so they were comparing super high to ultra high. Third, the way the study was presented led a lot of people to think that high LDL on ketogenic diet is now officially safe. But the design, the omissions, the lack of transparent reporting, and ultimately the data itself say otherwise. Fourth, after people on social media started asking questions, the authors posted their original findings. And guess what? The people on the ketogenic diet had four times the plaque volume of healthy populations. This means that LDL cholesterol is still a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease and cognitive diseases. When it builds up, it can clog arteries, it can raise your risk of heart attacks and stroke, and it may even mess up blood flow to your brain. You're probably curious to know why did this study get published? Good question. The peer review system is a powerful, but not a perfect system. Reviewers are stretched thin. Journals love exciting, controversial studies. They get clicks and views. Here's the good news. Science doesn't end when a paper gets published. Other experts read it, they challenge it, and they point out the flaws. That's what's happening right now. It's not a failure. It's science doing its job. So what does this mean for you? Don't take one study as gospel. High LDL has been linked to heart disease in hundreds of studies. One new paper doesn't erase all of that. Bottom line, a ketogenic diet can dramatically increase your LDL cholesterol. If that happens to you, talk to a doctor who understands the full picture, especially heart and brain health. Your brain and your heart deserve better than cherry-picked data.